In Photoshop, there are ways to improve or change the tone of your hair in order to make it stand out and add attention to your face. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to kind of make hair stand out a little bit more or to just simply change the tone so it can have different effects. Uh, the picture I'm using is a friend of mine, Cassandra Leach. She's a professional actress. And in this particular picture, she looks a little pouty. But um, I'm gonna change her hair up a little bit so her face will be highlighted a little bit more. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. And we're gonna adjust these curves a little bit so the hair stands out a little bit more. It's just uh, right there. So that's before and that's after. But obviously the whole face has been changed and we don't want that. So we're going to invert this mask, Command and Control I, while making sure that the mask is still selected. That makes it look like it's gone away, but it hasn't. Now we want to grab our brush tool and make sure that our foreground color is white and very simply start brushing it in. And you'll notice the subtle change. You notice that the uh, highlights are changing a little bit, but more importantly, her, um, her roots are changing. And that's really going to help it stick out when it comes to that. Make sure the hardness is at 46%, and you can also change around the opacity of this so things don't get obvious. And that's pretty good, but it's a little bit obvious, especially around the parts where her hair meets her skin. So what you can do is change the blend modes to different types of things to try out certain things, but for the most part, you're going to want to use luminosity. It just generally helps things um, blend a little bit more and become less obvious. So here it is after the effect and here it is before the effect. Before and after. It definitely has a difference, especially in the roots of her hair and the highlights of her hair. Alright, so I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you. If you have any questions regarding touch-ups and enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.